Hello, Matthew Williams here with a quick question mark video. Um, I don't know how I find these things, but I, I seem to find them. Um, I was looking through at this new Apple campus, you know. Uh, wow. Um, the way I kind of see it is there's only one reason you'd want to create a circular, um, circular campus like that. A uh, bit like GCHQ. I think they've got something to hide here. What do you reckon? I think they want to hide something because all those trees? Yeah, it sounds nice, doesn't it? But I I think it's to kind of stop the prying eyes. I don't think Apple wants people outside looking at what's going on. And guess what? That little garden inside is it's just like a GCHQ. It's just to make sure that all the people are kept in one place. They don't want them outside. They want them in. It's a fucking prison camp, yeah? So that's the way I see it, you know? Just me being Mr. Paranoid, because we all know what Apple are like, little fucking control freaks that they are as employers. <laughs> Better not speak your mind in Apple. You'll get fucking sacked. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I was looking at the auditorium. I was looking at the plans and looking at how it, you know, it's not all that big. You know, people are like, fucking hell, it's the biggest thing ever. Uh, it's not. It's not. I mean, people used to be like, Stonehenge is the biggest thing ever. It's fucking like this. You know, it's like that. It's like this Stonehenge in the palm of my fucking hand is bollocks. Yeah. So I was looking at it. I was like, mm, it's not all that big. It's big, but it's not all that big. <laughs> you know, it's not fucking world changingly big. But the one thing that I saw that kind of made me a little bit like, whoa, is the auditorium. And I look, looking at the photo here, you can see on the right hand side, and it's like, that doesn't look very big. I mean, look at the size of this crane here. And look at this. It's like, this is fucking tiny. So I'm like, well, you know, Apple normally do things on a fairly large scale, but they're going to hold all their press launches here, you know, in this place when it's finished. Uh, so I thought I want to check out, you know, well, what are they used to putting on at the moment? So I found this place called the Bill Graham Civic Auditorium where Apple has its product launches and it's 7,000 seats. So how big is Apple's? 1,000 seats. <laughs> it's not very fucking big, is it? Yeah. Um, and it just doesn't look very big. But here's the point. This is where it all goes because I wasn't expecting to be talking about this today. <laughs> Apple's product launch for the iPhone 7. I found this photo and it's got this woman called Sia who I've never heard of in my life probably because it's fucking Lady Gaga bollock fucking up your ass shithole bollocks. Yeah. But she's there with all these naked people dancing on the stage. And I'm like, that looks a bit dodgy. There's a bunch of naked people dancing on the stage in an Apple event. What's this about? But then I was, I, I, I started looking, looking it up and finding out more about it. I found out that the, the, one, of the, one of the girls who dances in this thing is called Maddie Ziegler. And here she is, trying to look like she's older than she actually is with makeup and bits and pieces on. Okay, but she's actually only 14 years of age. And I went and had a little look around, and then I found out, you know, um, oh, that's that auditorium, 7,000. A bit bigger than the one Apple are going to have. It's going to be just this little area here. That's going to be the Apple one. <laughs> it's going to be fucking tiny. But anyway, I digress. Because this is this is uh, Zia, whatever her name is, yeah? And she's 14 years of age. And she's wearing a costume that is basically trying to simulate skin tone so that it looks like she's naked. So... Apple seemed to like the idea of what? 14 year old naked children, naked girls 
dancing around on the stage. Is that right? Seems like it. Seems like it. Are we? Is there any? Is there any? Is there any fucking mystery why there are paedophiles and child porn out there when you got one of the one of the fucking one of the most prominent companies on the planet thinks it's all right to have fourteen year old naked type simulated, not real, not actual naked, but as close as you can possibly get to having simulated naked fourteen year old children dancing around on the stage. Well that's all I'm gonna say is bit weird the world we live in sometimes isn't it thanks for watching